Welcome back, First Hour Faithfuls, to yet another episode of the First Hour. This is the show where I, Colin Tanner from Video Games Are Dumb, and you, the legions of First Hour Faithfuls, take a look at the first hour of a recently released video game. So remember to like, subscribe, and bring the fire in the comments below for this episode, Red Goddess Inner World on the PlayStation 4. This is a downloadable only title. Uh, I believe it was $15. I believe not positive on that uh, I, I really didn't know anything about this game I just booted it up and I saw an Unreal Engine 4 logo so hey we got that going for us uh, gotta say though I'm a little perplexed by the cover here I've never seen a, a protagonist I assume that's a protagonist looks so I don't know concerned almost like they accidentally left the front door unlocked before they went out for the weekend I'm, I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be right there but uh, let's get right into it Red Goddess no, we're going to have crystals, we're going to have coins. That's a guarantee now. The game does seem a bit quiet. The universe. An infinity of planets, stars, and galaxies. Imagined and created by the gods. King Warren Odin Spectre? and Lena were guarding the balance of the world. The gods lived in harmony in the fortress, center of the cosmos. But some shadows, deep asleep, for thousands of years, suddenly awoke. Divine, the young goddess, barely remembered the day when everything changed, and she had to leave everything behind. Floating, drifting, alone in the cosmos, a voice guided her to a planet she knew very well, but that she had never visited. Ooh. Spooky. Uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> a pretty perplexing opening. We're playing as literally a goddess then. That's original. Give him that. What, what are we doing here? But the animation stopped. Moments okay, alright, good. Long in the past. Even disappear into oblivion. How to be sure of what happened? What really happened? How to know if those memories are not the result of our imagination. After so much time traveling through space, Divine, the young goddess, arrived at her inner planet. When she woke up, she had lost most yeah, of her I don't her have any control yet. She didn't remember hardly anything of her past. Divine, okay. She had traveled for weeks, guided by a voice. A voice that sounded so familiar. Why is there a scraping sound when it's not even touching anything? Hers and the name. It's floating, not touching anything. The thought of that name saddened her, and she did not even know who she was. Like the shadow of a nightmare that she could not remember. Like the shadow of a nightmare she can't remember, okay. Oh, okay. Press X to jump, and I jump. All right, pretty standard here. That voice, what did it want? Could it be the voice of her own conscience? Or simply hallucinations that looked like a switch? If I thought she should press the red button. I'm gonna go ahead and assume I'm gonna be swatch, uh, swatting between a blue version. She saw another secret switch appearing from. Is I supposed to be able to do this? Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those videos. Okay. Whoops! Who knows what could happen with those gadgets? He will try to confuse you. She knew that those ghostly visions were not real. Divine had traveled forever to get here. She was exhausted. Divine did not fully understand. It could be the voice of her own conscience or even an evil spirit. Hmm. Run? Run where? She did not understand. She could not think the earth was shaking. Meanwhile, a devilish mask chased her everywhere. Divine was disoriented. Her head was going to explode. 
said, okay. Obviously, it was waiting for me to crawl through. Breathing. She felt pain in her legs. She could barely run. No, oh, I want to get the coins, but all right. What happened in there? Divine was exhausted. A oh, frame rate got a lot better here. However, Divine knew that in here, anything could happen. It was not a normal planet. It was a reflection of her soul. Her Once again, that voice that called her from the depths. She had to find it. She needed answers. She needed to recover her powers. She needed to remember. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah. Video game with amnesia. There's an original one. Well, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Oh, God. What was that? The... Uh, Maybe it has an interesting story to tell. Be careful. Sure. On this phone, you can restore your life in mana. Mm. Alright. Well, I'm still totally healthy, so nothing to worry about there. You can use your fireball to destroy your stun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like she has two fireballs if I had to guess right now. Nope. Ooh boy, look at her go right through that geometry. This planet was created from her own memories and thoughts. It was dangerous, but at the same time, it was well known to divine. This cave, for example, seemed to come from her childhood memories. Get some coins. I have to wait a couple seconds while that thing comes back down. Huh. For some reason I thought the light was going to do something. Oh. Divine smiled. She had to admit her inner planet was full of beauty. All right. Uh, Emil Village is at the end of this path. Good luck. All right. Amiel sounded very oh, Amiel. to her, but she didn't remember this strange rock. It seemed to hide something very dark under the ground. All right. So I'm gonna assume maybe I can press down. Nope. Fireballs only go one direction, I guess. That is horizontal. That's a button. There we go. All right. Okay. That was weird. Oh, God. What is happening? The frame rate is... Whoa. Okay. It's not like it's slowing down. It's stopping. Like... Full on stopping. Sure. Okay, so we got the map. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that looks like a pretty sizable map. Even though I'm zoomed out, I still have to kind of move to the right. Okay, cool. Hi girl, what brings you here? Alright, so I don't have enough whatever I need to collect to do whatever it is I'm supposed to do there. Chop. I can't jump high enough for the shop. We got some kids. Is this the shaman? He's got a staff. So 
this is where the shaman is. Shaman's got coins, floating coins. Sure. <clears throat> All right, so this guy knows I'm the goddess. So, let me get this right. This is going to be using the map to tell me where to go. Very important that I understand where to go. And it's saying to go below the big tree. This is a pretty important factor. He's saying to open up your map and uh, go to the big tree. Well, that's a pretty big tree. These are pretty big trees too. Lots of trees here. Oh, that, oh there's a big tree. So just go to the big tree. Got it. <clears throat> One of three different big trees. Yep. Find the granddaughter down by the big tree. It says the quest is updated, but I don't believe them. The quest might be updated, but the map is certainly not. Real quick, I might as well get the coins while I'm here. I prefer not to talk to you. I have lots of things to do. Eh, at least he's honest. Sure. Oh, okay, I already talked to that guy. Oh, there she is. So we got tied to her. Hey, I got the same hair as me. Suppose they will say you also look sick, but we know it's not true. Uh, you want to talk to Grandma Misha? Follow me. She lives up the mountains. All right. I hate when I'm faster than the person I'm trying to follow because then you gotta do that stop thing. Here, have this. It's Gollum's heart. I stole it from the mechanic. All right. With this, you'll be able to possess the Gollum and open the door. All right. It's uh, definitely, it looks neat, but I'm not actually doing any of this. I just press the square button. Does the rest on its own. Oh boy, that frame rate, huh? <laughs> oh! Well. I can't read what she said because you put the stupid text over it. Alright, fine. I'll look at the pad so that I can read the text. Got that Marge Simpson hair. Hmm. Alright, so former babysitter brought me here after the Great War. The Den of Telekinesis. Okay. So I guess I teleported. Listen to your Uncle Woden. So my mom just started screaming. But he's like, go check it out. <laughs> Not one of these golems. Divine, I need help. Try to raise this rock. I know you can do it. Oh, okay. Alright, so that was my mysterious pass. <laughs> I see you remembered one of your powers. You need to remember who you are. You should start by going to the Crystal Cave. Help me... To go up, I want to show you something. Vine remembered Misha. She had been her babysitter all her childhood. She was like a second mother to Divine. Okay. Why? Well, yeah, there we go. Let's press triangle. I know. 
Oh, you gotta be standing on the platform. Well, in the demo, you just had to be next to it. I feel like I'm trapped in a 1980s music video. Money for nothing. Look at that, look at that. What, okay, hey. the crystal? Huh. Hmm. Kind of like Jack and Daxter in a way. <laughs> Go up here. I ran out of fireball stuff again. That means I gotta go back down here. Nope, can't get to those either. Oh no, it feels pretty sterile and barren right now. Like for a living, breathing dream world, it just doesn't look that interesting. Ah, I don't think I can reach it from there. Divine! Alright, so I need two of those blue squares to use the fireball. Woo! This frame rate. Now I'm looking at the quest. Now can I do what I do? Divine! As she moved forward in darkness, she could hear the voice. The voice that called for her. Sweet, got another one of these, which means I can open up another stage. Alright. Down here. I'm not actually sure, did she actually get killed right away, or did she die and then the spikes came up? You guys have to let me know in the comments. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Might be a hair too long for a puzzle platformer or whatever you want to call this. As she moved forward in darkness, she could hear the voice, that voice that called for her. All right. So you have to tap triangle, then move, then press triangle again to release the object. It's not like you're holding down the button. Which at the very least is pretty unique. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed that last coin. All right.
Yeah, this is pretty rough. Pretty rough. Of course, again, she needed to find where it came from. I mean, nothing about this really speaks to like, oh, that's why the frame rate is clunking. Because it doesn't look that great to begin with. Um. I mean, Unreal Engine 4 does not need to be used to create realistic scenarios and graphics. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, this doesn't look like those demos they keep showing at events. She had a hunch. Something was about to happen. But this looks pretty generic. Divine, you heard my call. Listen to me, things are not what they seem. We got some bullshit twist ending come up. Okay, I'm just assuming there. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. She found a horrible mask at the other end of the cave. It seemed dangerous, and she thought it would be wiser not to approach. No, that's not true. I ran forward and jumped right into it. Divine All right. had woken up something terrible and violent. Cool. All right. Awesome, let's see what happens. Monsters are attacking the city. Divine, your father is trying to defend the north gate at the end of the hallway. Oh good, it's the exact same room as before. Nice! Punching sound effects. <laughs> what, did you get those from the dollar store? Holy crap. Alright. Well, now her rage is unlocked. The planet was suffering in pain. It was the price to pay for remembering the past. Of divines, darker thoughts came this is a dash? This is not a dash. Well, at least you can break these rocks open now. That's that's something. That's a cool new ability. Something that I would want. Planet depths were not a place for a young divine. Oh God! What? No, that's that's real bad. <laughs> like how the fist gets big, like battle toads. Oh, what? Come on! What's going on here? That's getting really distracting. Eh, explosion look cool. I know I keep saying that the quests are being updated, but I never actually see any sort of a waypoint, so... I don't actually know what the hell they're talking about ever. Got four of those. Oh, I gotta be the blue person to do that.
Uh, to open the second part of the crystal cave, you must find. Okay. So, Avery encouraged me to open up my map to discover the new location to which I will go to. However, the only icon I ever see is of Divine. I never get any sort of real indication as to where I'm supposed to go. Is that it? That? That right there? The little thing? You need a giant green arrow or something. I don't know. Honestly, I thought that was Divine before. I'm gonna go punch some children. That'll be fun. Well, I'm not gonna be able to beat that thing because it's blue. Unless this is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way anyway. So, how far away am I? I am really the hell far away from there. I guess Amriel's a bit faster. Oh, well, it's safe again? But first, look for my daughter and tell her to come back home. When you find her, I'll be waiting inside this yellow house. Okay. So I gotta run up to the little girl and tell her to go home. Go home. Go home! All right, it's gotta be her. Yep, there we go. At least I can reach the shop now. Maybe that'll actually be something cool to buy. Or it'll be an empty room. Huh, this can't be the shop. I refuse to believe that is the shop. There we go, climb up. Hmm, the exact same house. This reminds you of that TG Ninja Turtles game played last year where all the insides of the houses were identical there we go here we go here's the shop so I guess the two systems are life and mana sure. uh, I have 70 coins so I guess buy health wait no buy mana well no sound effect for that I mean, nothing has actually taken any health from me yet, so I guess I'm in the clear there. Woof! Look at that pop in. That slow down and pop in. You'd be allowed to use my trap door. How does anyone live here? You, you just live with staircases. All right. So I'm fighting ghosts, which I'm sure is some sort of metaphor. Divine, you have unraveled the mysteries of your past. Alright, I gotta use my telekinesis. Oh, 
I'm not doing this. I'm... Okay. Okay. It's just, it's just doing this shit on its own. Oh, I gotta go there. Guys, in case you're wondering, in case you're wondering, I gotta go there. Great map. Okay, so basically wait for it to start sliding back down. There we go. Go down here. Goddess felt her heart freeze. Something terrible hid beneath the surface of the ground. This place had been closed for thousands of years. Evil mask. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I can't fight the mask still. Or I can! Or what did I just do? Do not use brute force, sometimes there are safer ways. There you go. Kind of cool. You kind of teleport inside of them. It's interesting at the very least. Yikes. Deep sadness filled her body every time she heard that voice. Okay, well this looks like it's gonna be some big puzzle or something. Kind of exciting. Our inner world can be the most dangerous Oops. place to be in. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand, eleven one thousand, twelve one thousand, thirteen one thousand, fourteen one thousand, sixteen one thousand, seventeen one thousand, eighteen one thousand, nineteen one thousand, twenty thousand, twenty one thousand, twenty two thousand, twenty three thousand, twenty four thousand, twenty five thousand, twenty six thousand, twenty seven thousand, twenty eight thousand, one hundred thousand, thirty thousand, thirty one thousand, thirty two thousand, thirty three thousand, thirty four thousand, thirty five thousand, thirty six thousand, Holy crap. Like 35 seconds every time you die. But I mean, the game's really easy. Hey, I wasn't here before. Just load me up to this place I wasn't even... <laughs> this was not the last location I was near. I didn't think I was over here. Might be getting that wrong, but pretty sure I wasn't. New skin unlocked. Well, goody. Whenever I can shoot two of them at the same time. You can, like, control them for a second. That's pretty interesting. Oof! I'm actually kind of worried to die now, just because there's that long 30-second loading screen. 
just moving too fast for this animation to be accurate. Go down here. Deep sadness filled her body every time she heard that voice. I'm not sure why I would actually ever use that fireball ability when I can just do this and punch them. You know? Hey, I actually got hurt by one of these guys for once. And I'm already back up to full health. gonna leave the coins. I want to see where we're going here. But I assume we're about to unlock a very special ability. She found another horrible mask at the other end of the cave. The thing looked dangerous. <laughs> All right, now she's got her blue powers, right? Got the blue powers. Look at this. What is this? Got like a army haircut. What are we going to? Well, I assume your kids are just going to stand there, aren't you? Oh no, it's me as a child. Kill all the children. Eh, it takes longer to kill blue enemies, but pretty similar stuff. Hmm. Yeah, what are you gonna rush there, Grandma? Hold on, we gotta escape from the city. I mean, really, do you have to spell it out for me that her whole family died? Because in the cutscene, her whole family died. Great, woke up frozen, let's go. Soul of your twin sister. That voice calling from the depths. Divine now knew it was her twin sister. <gasps> but she could not remember Evelyn. It was too painful. Exclamation point. It was too much pain. And Divine decided she had heard enough. Sometimes it's better not to discover the truth. Searching for the truth, she can find a worse. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. gone. It was time to go back to the surface. 
Hmm. Well, I need one more of these. There's one more over there. So I'll come back to this area. I think it was hidden behind a blue something or other. I can fix that pretty easily. Yep, that's what I thought. What? Oh, really? Just, yeah, go ahead, guys. Do whatever. I can't do nothing. Oh, wow, okay. I didn't know I could do that. I'm gonna get this big gold coin just because it is a big gold coin. Hmm. There we go. Open it up. And it doesn't do anything! Re-enter. What, they didn't plan I was going to be able to do- Oh, son of a bitch! Oh. Got a long way back. You know, I'm not talking a whole lot during this video, just because I don't know what the fuck to say. It's a game where you jump and collect coins. <sighs> oh yeah. And the protagonist can't remember her past. Ah. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. It's, uh, it's something, all right. Trying to wait till my... Trying to wait another 15 minutes before I start expressing my feelings! There we go. All right. Wait. So to get up, I have to go- Oh, okay, what am I doing? That's stupid. I should be going right back there. Going right the hell back there. Because this is where you go when you want to get back up. See? Zoom in right here. You can actually sell. There's a little staircase. No? I gotta go where that glowing thing is. With that unlocked because I collected six gems or whatever. And even though it wouldn't open for me earlier. Okay, sure. Hey, whatever. So where am I going to right now? Or well, I can go down here. What? Now it works when I use the blue guy to do the blue smashing thing? Whatever.
All right. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Bitch. All right, I can go over here and climb back up and get another gem so I can unlock that door. Okay. Where we going? We going somewhere? Reloading? All right. As she descended, Divine noticed an unpleasant smell. The air was filled with thick black smoke. The smell was becoming more intense. It seemed like something was burning. Divine recognized that smell. It was the smell of fear, blood, burning houses. It was the smell of war. Do you know if you smell smoke or like burnt toast and nothing's there? That's the first sign of schizophrenia. See, if you stuck around with this video long enough, you learned something. The Dark King was looking for Divine, and the army were looting the entire village. The city had become a giant flame. Sucks. Sucks. Dangerous place to be in. I mean, the combat's just plain bad. I mean, it uh, on paper it makes a whole lot of sense. You know, you have to swap out. You know, for your powers, yada yada yada. Blue fights blue, red fights red. That all makes sense. That makes a ton of sense. But in execution, it's really fucking stiff, and you're just getting knocked silly half of the time, and. I don't know. This game's actually making me tired. It's so boring. God, the load times too. That was probably the worst part of this game. It's just how long it takes to get back into the action. The village of Aniel was on fire. The Dark King was looking for defense. The enemy were losing the entire village. The city had become a giant red flame. Red fire, blood, and pain. Aniel was destroyed in minutes. No plea was heard. Everyone in Aniel died that night. Ow. Ow. Huh. That's random. Okay. Ah, alright, don't climb up there at all, just go left. Sure. Sure, whatever. go actually doing some real damage now huh. 
Oh, come on. Like, what am I supposed to do here? It's, it's so easy to get hit all the time. So, come on! It's not about being brave, you jackass. It doesn't work. But the general combat in this game is bad. It's bad combat. That's all we need to say, really. Uh, it doesn't work. It makes sense in some regard, but the actual execution of it is awful. Awful combat. <sighs> and these low times are also awful. I mean, there are very few things as frustrating as being punished by by something you really can't control, you know? Wait, these guys weren't even here last time I reloaded. They're o one of them is always shooting, so it makes it pretty goddamn impossible. supposed to leave yet then right they're yeah, supposed to go left divine closed her eyes okay. and fell asleep forever spooky huh This is one of those episodes. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. We got a real special game here. Real, real, real special. You know. So. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it sucks. <laughs> and it sucks to say that because it's not like this is some. You know, big budget, everybody got paid anyway, whatever you want to say. Well, even that's not true, because people often miss bonuses due to Metacritic, blah, 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 whatever. But this just doesn't work on a technical or fundamental level. This is like fun. Or engaging. Great combat, though. Jump up and punch them, but don't get punched. Yeah, that's some good combat right there. Yeah, that's some good combat right there. Alright. I don't like this game. I don't. It's not just dying. It's just... It's boring. It's been boring the whole damn time. Uh, screw it. Let's, uh... Let's wrap this bad boy up. Uh, Red Goddess 
Divine Goddess. What? I don't even remember. That's. What exactly is it? Yes, Red Goddess Inner World. Okay. It's very difficult to make a video game. Incredibly difficult to make a video game. Yeah, you can have all your Unity assets, or you can be using Unreal Engine 4. It doesn't matter. Still, today, with all the advantages that we have, it is incredibly difficult to create a compelling gameplay experience. Apparently, for whatever reason, it's also very difficult to have a uh, polished technical experience. This game suffers both of those problems. The frame rate is bad. It doesn't really seem to chug as much as it just seems to freeze and freezes often because it's a game about jumping for many portions of the game uh, or or timer based gates opening. That's a pretty major issue or you know, those things that were flipping with the spikes. As for the basic gameplay, the whole red and blue and blue hurts blue and red hurts red, sure, I, I guess, why not? That, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that idea it did in the beginning. It's just, it's just an idea. It could work out either way. But the execution just... It's a frustrating button masher when you're fighting those damn things. Because everybody every time you're punching one, somebody else is just throwing a fireball because they're... It's all on this system where it's like, well, I haven't been punched for this many seconds and I haven't moved for this many seconds, so I'm just going to keep throwing fireballs. It's distracting. It's not like if I'm blue, I absorb them. You know, if it's a blue fireball and I, I can absorb them and regain my energy. It's not like that. It's just you get hurt. That's it. I mean, this game feels unfocused. I mean, does it want to be a puzzle platformer or does it want to be this kind of like beat em up game? Well, why can't it be both? Some might say, why can't it be both? Why do you got to box it down? Because none of it really works. Had they focused on one element or the other element, it might have been a bit more polished. But to try and throw all these concepts into one title, you're bound to get something that feels, to be frank, half-baked. And it's not just the technical issues. The storyline is also just generic as all get out. Oh, I can't remember my past, but I'm an important person. Great. I mean, th th this has been going on for over 20 years now in video game stories. Doesn't mean you can't use that concept, but, you know, within the first four minutes of the game just being like oh hey how you doing i can't remember my past oh okay <laughs> it's one of those games all right great so you know red goddess inner world should you play it no no it's boring it's devastatingly dull but that doesn't mean and i've seen some comments on some of my videos where the game is horrible. Some people will say things like, oh, those developers should knock it off and stop making games. Well, I'm not going to say that. I would never say that. That's mean. That's cruel. Somebody's ambition in life to become a game developer, a game designer, programmer, whatever. Let them keep doing what they're doing. So maybe these Red Goddess guys, maybe this is going to be like their Way of the Warrior. Do you remember Way of the Warrior on the uh, 3DO? Garbage fighting game. Awful. Literally had a guy shooting fireballs out of his kilt. You know what that studio's making right now? Uncharted 4. They also made The Last of Us. The Uncharted Trilogy. Crash Bandicoot. Jack and Daxter. You can't always judge one game to, to represent a whole studio. You just gotta take it for what it is. So Red Goddess, this game sucks. The developers, keep doing what you're doing. Hope your next project works out. But that's going to do it for this episode of The First Hour. Remember to like, subscribe, bring the fire in the comments below, tell a friend. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. I will see you for the next episode of The First Hour. Thank you for watching.